Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Chelsea need to play one more game in this preseason and then we're gonna be back in UK and get ready for the game against Liverpool. I've already made my predictions for the game tomorrow or Thursday, depending on your location. So please uh, have a look and uh, let me know what you think about my match preview and predictions. And let's have fun. The link is going to be in the description down below. So today we're going to discuss about... Um, about the two new names i don't know if i can call them new names that just added but we've been linked with uh, edson alvarez for over a year now since last uh, last summer where we offered the money the last minute but we're gonna discuss about it and now uh, there's a name that's been trending this morning and it's tyler adams my brother from the u.s and i will tell you what I think about the, the two links, because you all know that I am not part of uh, all or nothing documentary, because at Chelsea Football Club, our mind is already set into certain players. You know, it's all or nothing. Pay whatever it takes to get that player. You know, break the bank when it comes to certain players from certain countries with certain passport or certain cool names and then we don't expand our knowledge we don't really care about anything else around we don't have a plan b plan c is all or nothing go for fofana i don't care about his injury record i don't care that he didn't play for the entire season with a break a broken leg he's french he's from such and such blah 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 we make theories and then we we broke the bank and what is happening today so that is just an example of chelsea fans don't think outside the box we just you know look at one direction and one direction only so i'm on social media don't forget green turf and i also made a short video to present you the stadium that chelsea are going to play on wednesday yeah because in my preview video i said tuesday but you understand jet lag the time difference time zone so i said correctly the date but somehow i say the game is gonna be on tuesday and people will remember just what you say tuesday instead of checking on the date in your location <laughs> anyways my people let's uh, let's do it All right, so let's check what Fabrizio Romano been saying this morning. Axel de Sassi in England today. So I'm hesitating to talk about like days now because I make a lot of mistakes. So in my location, it's going to be today, Tuesday. So he's in London to have his medical 45 million euros from Monaco. We discuss about him a little bit. Very solid guy. He just got the job done. I'm not going to call him world class or anything, but he's there just knows no sense. He's a captain of Monaco and we are lacking leaders in the, in, in the team right now. So we have another captain in the team. I think one way or another is going to help Chelsea a lot. So this week, he might be announced and let me know in the comment section down below what uh, what number would you like to see uh Disassi have a chelsea football club because when we go back to england we have to figure out what numbers our players are gonna are gonna be wearing so let's have that little game 
So now let's move on to the big topic. So Tom Rody, who came up with the news this morning, he works for the Times, by the way. Very, very good source. So he said, Chelsea considering Tyler Adams and Edson Alvarez as options to bolster their midfield options. Caicedo is the priority, of course. And Lavia, they had some interest here and there, but I think it's too late to talk about uh, Lavia because he's he already agreed everything with uh, with uh, Liverpool. Still, Liverpool need to agree fee with uh, with Southampton. So it's too late to go for for that brother Lavia. And I don't think really Chelsea need another 19 years old because we already have Leslie Ugochoko. And he's already in the camp with the boys. He's tall, powerful, imposing. And I don't see anything really that Lavia is going to give to the Chelsea team and and Leslie is not going to, to give. Like, I think... Leslie even got more quality, in my opinion, than Lavia. But Lavia been in the Premier League for one season and people was watching him all the time and naturally they're going to they're gonna give him more credit. But if you give Leslie the same amount of games, you give him a chance to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes, in less than six months from now, that brother is going to be in the next level so for me no 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 i am not going for lavia forget about it and then these two options are very interesting i think uh, around january february i was really talking about tyler adams how good he was and and uh, chelsea should consider and all that but Remember, certain certain people are scapegoat or certain passport to certain countries that we we love to hate for no reason. We don't need any reason to hate Chelsea Academy and English players, for example. The same for Americans, you know, go play basketball. Or for other people, they don't need any kind of excuse to hate a black person, you know. So depending on your location and 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 your education people hate different people for for other reasons other than than football you know because it has nothing to do with football let me just give you an example like when christian polisic was a chelsea football club he was scapegoated all the time you know even if he's having a laugh with uh, his brothers it's gonna be his fault that chelsea lost the game remember this game here against the uh, lead united <laughs> against tyler adams surprise and we we completely got destroyed three nil and then for the last uh, five minutes they put polisic we were losing three nil already and we had already a red card because Kulibali made that uh, stupid challenge out of frustration. Nine against, uh, oh, ten against eleven. And we're losing 3 nil. And what happened at the end? Because Pulisic came on for, for five minutes. He was the problem. Why are you smiling? Why are you laughing? It was trending on social media. Thomas Tuchel after that Ampadu actually was on the bench that day Billy Gilmore was on the bench and they asked him about the midfield how the midfield got torn apart and he said that's what we got we don't have any midfielder but you have Billy Gilmore and you have also Ethan Ampadu who are very, very good midfielders. You refuse to play them and you complain about the midfielders. But at the end, nobody want to mention our tactical uh, weaknesses and how the selection was poor 
everybody pointed fingers on Christian Pulisic for making a joke and laughing with his brothers from America. So I don't want to see another American brother suffer at the, at the hand of the almighty blues online. So I will stay away from Tyler Adams. Also, he got a lot of injuries. Last season, when he got injured, and then lead United start really started collapsing. I, I'm sure that if he was there, probably they were they were going to have a, a different outcome because he's their captain, his leader, he's really really very good leader because he captained the USA in the World Cup. So this guy is tough and very good, but because of discrimination because of injuries i am not going to buy him for chelsea football club okay so let's move on very quickly to my second point which is uh alvarez edson alvarez remember last summer chelsea offered 50 million the last minute to get this brother and this uh, this summer, it looks like nobody really is is uh, serious about him. I don't know what happened, or his form went down. But the entire Ajax pretty much went down because they sold pretty much everybody, right? So the entire team is gonna look bad, and the individuals are going to look bad. So this is the. The target that I can really consider because I still believe that he's, uh, he's good, okay? He's tall, he's powerful, he's commanding, he's from Mexico. So you have that energy of, hmm, you know, wrestler energy, powerful, you know? So he can fight. So I'm okay with, uh, with uh, Edson, but not with Tyler. And I feel sorry also for Edson uh, because... He he, he 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 was going to be a Chelsea right now and now he's been linked with uh, teams like uh, in the mid table he was linked with uh, Borussia Dortmund who are not in the mid table of course but I'm giving you an example of in general if you compare the teams that he's been linked with they are less you know than Chelsea football club in that uh, in that matter so let me know in the comment section down below who would you like to see uh, a Chelsea football club buy. And the price also. I don't want to pay 100 million on somebody like uh, Moises Caicedo. I would prefer to pay probably 50 million on Edson, you know, Alvarez, and save some money for other positions. Because I don't believe that Caicedo is the second coming of Jesus. What if he got injured? What are we going to do? You know? So better have two solid midfielders than one, in my opinion. So anything else is pretty much the same. Disasi is in London. Robert Sanchez, Chelsea put a bid. And that bid also include negotiations for Moises Caicedo, so let's wait, uh, wait and see what's going to happen. Uh, Levi Cowell is going to sign six-year contract with Chelsea. The terms and everything agreed, 100K a week, well-deserved. And um, West Ham and other teams are trying to sign Trevor Chaloba. So we have to be calm. And Vlahovic, Lukaku swap. Who knows what could happen? <laughs> Uh, let's wait and see. 